In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate some drilling cutting forces in metric. The holes being drilled are 6.35 millimeters, and the raw material is 6061 aluminum, and the cutting tool is high speed steel. In order to calculate the cutting force, first we need to figure out the volume of material removed. So for drilling, we're going to multiply the feed rate times the diameter squared times pi over 4. Then we're going to multiply by 0 0.001 to convert our cubic millimeters to cubic centimeters. And then once more, we're going to multiply by 1 over 60 to convert the minutes to seconds. Therefore, we find for this part, we remove 2.68133 cubic centimeters per second with our drill. Next, we need to calculate the power required to drill our hole. To do this, we're going to multiply the volume of material removed in cubic centimeters per second times the K factor and then divide by the machine efficiency. In this case, we find we need 3.447 kilowatts to drill our hole. And now that we know our power requirements, we can calculate our cutting force in newtons. We multiply the power by 60,000 and divide by the cutting speed in meters per minute to get 1,695 and a half newtons of cutting force. For those of us living in North America, our next step is often to convert the force to pounds. To do this, we're going to multiply by 0.2248 and find that we need 381 pounds of cutting force resistant. Therefore, our clamping force would be 762 pounds. Now that I've calculated the required clamping force, I can use my charts. And where I have two bolts holding down my parts, I can use two M6 or larger threaded bolts, and where I only have one, I'll require an M8 or larger bolt to properly resist the cutting forces.